belong citizens, citizens of Zambia, Bill 10 is poison. Bill 10 is black member poison. It's lethal. It's deadly. No matter how much sugar you pour in a cup of poison or with poison, the cup will remain poisonous. And this is the case with Bill 10. Everything the PF claimed to be good about Bill 10, any clause that the PF claims is good about Bill 10, it is nullified by the despicable clauses that will roll back years of democratic progress in our country. And we should not allow that to happen. Indeed, we shouldn't, because it would be a grave mistake. We ask all well-meaning members of parliament, MPs, I mean all members of parliament, to reject Bill 10 and to reject it outright. The debates have been going on for too long around Bill 10. The people of Zambia have spoken against Bill 10. Churches, civil society, upright political parties, and others very loudly and clearly that Bill 10 is not acceptable in our country. I draw particular attention to UPND members of parliament. Reject Bill 10. As a party, you know the position of UPND that is against Bill 10. We have discussed as a team in UPND time and again, and we've concluded that Bill 10 will harm this country, will harm human rights, will harm democracy, will harm the rule of law. Very clear. Reject Bill 10, all UPND members of parliament. NDC member of parliament, role member of parliament, reject Bill 10. Independent members of parliament, my dear colleagues, reject Bill 10. Indeed, PF members of parliament, well-meaning PF members of parliament, you too are no different from your colleagues. We expect no less than we expect from your other colleagues. Reject Bill 10. Because you know in your heart that this is wrong. Members of parliament ought to be on the right side of history. And to be on the right side of history, you have to be on the side of the people, the people of Zion. People are hating. We must draw our attention away from Bill 10 by bringing closure now to this dreadful Bill 10. This much talked about Bill 10. Because we have limited resources in any situation. A family, a business, a country has limited resources. We must focus our resources, focus our attention on making sure that families can have food on their table every single day. That our school going children are in school. That's where our attention and resources must be. Those that are in college, those that are in university, must remain in school because we have accorded them the bursaries that they need, the BCs, the BC that they need. That's where our attention must be. Our attention must be drawn to the needs of those that retired to pay their retirement benefits on time. Pensioners to be looked after. The weak, the sick, the old in society must be looked after. Businesses are dying. That's where our attention must be. Not on Bill 10. 
let's bring closure to this building now and not any other time. This is the last time we should be talking about building because we have more important things to do as a country. I ask you, if you are responsible citizens and you believe you represent the people of Zambia, act correctly. Let's close this debate. I thank you.